The first thing we need is a piece of copper. I took mine from an old computer heatsink. And we also need a piece of wood and we need to glue the copper to the wood in this way. Now take a piece of thin copper wire gauge 26 or 27 AWG and bend it in this way. The next step is to glue another piece of wood 5 to 6 millimeters in width and on top of it fix the copper wire using epoxy glue. In order to finish our reed switch we need to add a small magnet on top of the copper wire. The magnet is glued with epoxy and we also added a pair of wires that will be used as contacts. One wire goes to the copper base and the other to the thin wire. The distance between the wire and the copper base must be on the order of half a millimeter. It must be small. This switch works when we place a magnet near the other and it will push this magnet and make contact with the copper base. Of course, you have to have the same polarity in order for this magnet to be pushed down. Let's see how our switch performs. The magnetic switch is connected to this small incandescent lamp and to our power supply. As we can see, when contact is made, the lamp is turned on. So let's try with this small magnet and we can see how the switch turns on when we place the magnet near the other. This is another version that does not need a magnet. We also have a thin copper wire that is wounded over a piece of metal that I took from a paper clip. We also have this other piece of copper wire. It is thicker and one end is in the form of a ring. This piece goes like this without touching the first piece of wire and when we place a magnet the metal part is attracted and the thin wire deflects making contact with the copper ring. Here we have the finished switch. The contacts obviously are the two copper wires. Let's test the switch. As we can see, it also works pretty well. In our next video, we will use this reed switch to make a magnetic linear motor.